Math Lesson 8.4, Counting On from Higher Numbers. I can count on by ones from any number. So today we're going to be talking about counting, which we've all been practicing counting to 100, but we're going to practice counting from a number that is other than one. So if I look at my hundreds chart and I told you start counting from 54, we would say 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, and so on. Let's try counting from 26. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So that's what counting on is. It's when you start at a number that is not one. And it says here, we do not always start counting from the number one. So let's look at our picture here. It is my friend in the picture's sixth birthday. She has four balloons. So if I wanted to count to see how many more she needed, I'm gonna count her balloons. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, so she needs two more balloons. So you see how we had to start counting from the number four and not from the number one because she had four balloons, four, five, six. Let's look at this problem. Devin is counting by ones. She says 17, 18, 19. What number comes next? 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 comes next. Again, we did not start counting at number one. We started at 17. All right, let's practice again. Now this time you're going to practice counting. I'm gonna tell you a number to start at and then I'm gonna tell you a number to stop at. So start counting at 21 and stop counting at 44. Ready, go. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. All right, let's practice one more time. I'm gonna tell you the number to start counting at and then I'm gonna tell you the number to stop counting at. Start counting at 59 and stop at 72. Ready, go. 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. Excellent job. Counting on can also help you add. So if you have an addition problem, you can think of it as put the big number in your head. So I'm looking at the addition problem of seven plus three. So the big number is seven, and then I need to count on by three. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Seven plus three equals 10. We can use counting on to solve problems like this. Kate had six flowers. She picked two more. How many flowers does Kate have now? So she had six, so we're gonna start counting at six, and we need to count two more. One, two. So how many flowers does Kate have? She has eight flowers. That's counting on. We started at six and we went to eight. Six plus two equals eight. All right, this is the last one we're gonna look at. So. This paper is having us start at a number, the big number in the bubble, and counting on by the number of fingers shown. So start at the number two and count on by one. Two, and I want you to use your fingers just like they're showing. So I want you to put one finger up. Two, three. Okay, now the next one, put four finger, er, put three fingers up, sorry, like they show in the picture, and we're gonna start at the number four. Four, five, six, seven. All right, the next one, start at the number three. 
and I want you to put two fingers up and count them from three. Three, four, five. All right, now put five fingers up. Or no, sorry, put three fingers up and you're gonna start at the number five, six, seven, eight. All right, now you try doing it by yourself. Start at the number seven. Count up by one and what did you get? Eight. And the last one start at the number six and count up by two. And you should get eight.